I got a comment a while back on my Excel data stream output to LCD screen video uh, that was asking the question, is it possible to convert the values that you get in the comma separated string to variables in the Arduino? And the answer is yes, you can. And I promised to make a video about that. And that is what I'm going to do today. What can we build as demonstrators? We could build a server controller. A binary counter. I think we'll build those too. But let's get inspired by the possibilities before we start and get into the real detail. Okay, now we're inspired. Let's build the binary counter. We'll start with this code. Here we're setting up a board rate and we're gonna have a variable for our maximum length of the string that we're gonna be allowed to receive. We're gonna have an array of char for the each uh, byte that we're receiving through the serial input to the Arduino. Uh, we have a variable for keeping track of the position in the string that we're at and a integer for recording the incoming byte, what, what value it is. Then we use the Arduino void serial event function to actually process the data that is being transmitted to the Arduino. And we're just gonna, once we hit a carriage return character, then we're going to print the string that we received. So let's run that up on the Arduino. Then let's run up the serial monitor. And we can see whatever we type is being read back and displayed. It would be nice now to actually separate that string that we're receiving back out into its comma separated parts. And I'm gonna call those parameters. So let's write the code to do that. So we're gonna have a character string for the parameter that we're extracting from the comma separated string and a parameter number count and then we're going to use this strtoc function to actually separate out the individual parts from the string. There's a, a useful uh, explanation of that function here on this website here. So let's run that up. And now we can see that we're actually extracting each part between the commas from the, the comma separated string into separate parameters. One little trap though is if we don't have any parameters in between a comma, like for example this, we don't get a parameter for the uh, commas with no data in between them. And perhaps we might like to have that. I found this function SDR tope with an E. It's explained on this website. Let's run with that. And we can see even when we have commas with nothing between them, we get a parameter for each section. 
Let's take things to another level and start controlling some LEDs based on these comma separated parameters. Firstly, we'll configure our pins to be in the output mode. We'll start by turning the LEDs off when we parse a new comma separated string. We'll add some new code to turn on an LED if the uh, string happens to be the word true. And we're going to use the string compare function for that. We'll make sure that we actually call that function. And then we'll download it. Now we know that works, we can control the same uh, LEDs with Microsoft Excel. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use the data streamer function as usual and we're going to disconnect our serial monitor, we'll connect our Arduino to Excel instead. And then whatever values we put in these sections here are going to drive the LEDs. So if I put false here for example, then the blue one turns off. I'm going to undo that because I've already got formulas hooked up here to look at sheet one. And in sheet one, I have the same values, which will then look at the value above. And if it's one, make it true. And then I'm using the deck to bin function to convert this actual number above to a, its binary representation. And then we can use the little controller here to flick through the different numbers. Okay, so what about controlling servos? If we want to do that, then we need to actually convert those comma separated values into integer values that we can use to set the angle of the servo. And we're going to learn how to do that in the code, and then we'll build the spreadsheet to do that as well. Let's start with uh, updating the Arduino code. We need to include the servo library and create two server objects. We need a couple of variables to store the servo angle that we want to set it to. We need to associate the servos with Arduino pins, which is what we're doing here. Each time we complete a read of comma separated values, we're going to need to write the new servo angle that we want to have. We need to include the uh, calculation of the serv servo angle and put it in the variable. And we use this ATOI function. And what it does is it takes a character uh, string and it will convert that into its integer equivalent if the actual um, characters that make up a number. If it's got uh, just ordinary text then it will return zero. And let's run that up. And now we'll test it with our uh, spreadsheet. So we'll turn on the linkage to the Arduino. And we can see it works, which is great. Now for the Excel side of things, what we're doing is we're hooking up our data out worksheet and we are saying that we get these two values from sheet one, cells A2 and B2. And then in sheet one, we just have those numbers and we've set up these uh, controls here so that we uh, link them to the, the, the cell. And you add those onto the um, screen if you want to put them in, you just use your developer tab and then you do insert and then you bring in one of the scroll bar controls. And then to link it up to a cell, you just right click it, format control and link it to a particular cell and that's how you get those to go. All right, now if you didn't know how to get the data streamer going, then what I recommend is you check out the uh, send data from Excel to Arduino video that I created and I'll leave a link in the, this uh, description and you can check it out there. So thanks very much for watching. I look forward to hearing in the comments of all the little projects that you might have done at the hooking up Excel through Arduino to control something.